Around this time of year, the big tech companies do their annual hardware showcase where they show off everything that will be going on sale just in time for Christmas. Last week it was Amazon, they've turned their Echo speaker into a sphere and they had a flying home security camera. Nothing creepy about that. This week it's Google's turn with an online event, of course, so let's see what they announce. So first up is Google TV. It looks a lot like Apple TV and Amazon Fire TV. It brings in recommendations and gives you a lot to choose from. And there's a new Chromecast, which has a voice remote control, just like the Apple TV and Amazon Fire TV. We actually knew this was coming because it went on sale early in some American retail stores by accident. We're moving on to smart speakers. The newest one is the Nest Audio, which is designed for people who like to listen to music on their smart speakers. And to make it sound good, they've embedded a high frequency tweeter. Not Donald Trump. <laughs> Moving on to the phones, and it's our first look at the new Pixel phones. So just a few months ago, they brought out the Pixel 4a, a cheaper version of the Pixel 4, and they've updated it now with the Pixel 4a 5G. There's a 5G version. And here's the new flagship, the Pixel 5. It has wireless charging and reverse wireless charging, so you can charge your headphones on the back of the phone. It's interesting because they've actually got rid of a lot of the flagship features of the Pixel 4. So the face unlock camera is gone. They've replaced that with the fingerprint reader. And that Soli radar has gone. That was supposed to let you control the phone without touching it. Although in reality, the most you could kind of do was skip through songs by waving your hands over the phone. But that's all gone. But it will let them sell the Pixel 5 at a lower cost. And that's probably going to be quite important given the global situation we're in. But there are some impressive new software features. It can now take those blurry background portrait shots while in night sight mode in low light conditions. That's quite cool. You can also artificially illuminate a portrait with an artificial light just by dragging your finger around in portrait mode. That's also very cool. And that's it. Tell you what, these events go by much quicker when they're just pre-recorded and you're not watching presenters fumble through things on stage. That might have been the most low-key launch for a flagship phone I've ever watched, but I have to admit, the Pixel cameras usually are really good. Every year, Google brings new innovation to the Pixel camera, and I can't wait to try those new features.